Welcome everyone to Oita. As you can see, I've come on a little bit of an expedition up to the local lighthouse. Yes, we are here to play Oita Trinita in today's Levain Cup game. But before we crack on with that one, we do, of course, have a game to catch up on as we vest Osaka in the Levain Cup prior to this. So without further ado, let's hop into Football Manager 21 and crack on with today's episode. Okay, so before we jump into today's catch-up game and actual game, I've got a little bit of news for you, and that is regarding Yanagi. Yes, Yanagi, our wing-back who sits on the bench, very solid player. He was, of course, a player who was expected to leave us. He was looking for a transfer elsewhere. We was getting amazing offers, such as over three million for him. I think our asking price right now is about four million for him. And yeah, he ended up turning a bunch of contracts down and we was happy to let him sit on the bench, just relax. And then I found out he's still classed as a regular starter. So he's now kicked up a fuss and said he wants to get some playing time. Unfortunately, though, I don't want to drop Komai. I don't want to drop Suga and I just don't see him playing in our defense, at least as a starter right now. So he is actually going to go out on loan. He was happy to accept that. So. At the moment, we have a couple of potential outlets, I believe, for his loan. As you can see, Gamba Osaka, S-Pulse are both interested in him. But Western United has put in a loan offer. I believe we settled in the end for 90% of his wage. They were offering 70, 80 if he didn't play, I believe. I wanted 100%. We met in the middle, 90, 90, all good in the world. So... That is that little bit of news. How did we get on in that one catch-up game in the Levain Cup? Cereza Osaka, a team that finished second in the league last year. We would have expected a bit more of a fight than we actually came up against in this Levain Cup game. As you see, we got off to a nice early start. Komai then got himself a penalty and slotted it down the middle. We then went and got a third here in the 83rd, almost 84th minute, with Miyazawa drilling it in to the upper left-hand corner. The weather wasn't great, but our performance definitely was. 25 shots to their 2, 11 on target to their 1, a 2.33 xg to a 0.15, 8 corners to 2, 7 fouls to 12, 1 yellow card to 2, 90% passing, 78, 57% possession to 43. As you can see, our entire starting lineup had a fantastic game. Lopez letting the side down a little bit, only being on 6.8. Everyone else above a 7, specifically Miyazawa on that 8.5 and getting himself a goal. In terms of substitutes, well, Rano got 6.7. He did okay. Dan Zaki did a great job coming in, got a 6. Point nine and Kawasaki did okay as well getting a 6.8 very respective scores but it is of course time for today's game so let's head on over to the tactical meeting screen and I'll see you fine folks there in just a second okay everyone game time is almost a problem as we are here in the tactical meeting screen very good pitch condition here today 13,887 tickets sold out of this 40,000 capacity wet 12 degrees celsius breezy are the conditions for today's match now opposition instructions we're going to apply those balance to cautious no i was thinking of going for a positive mentality but we're away from home and when you see the squad you'll understand exactly why i want to go balanced instead of being positive so let's head on over to the team screen as you can see the team is rather depleted so ob remains in the team nakakao gawa up front remains in and inukai remains in as well but there is quite a few youngsters in this one. So, a back line of Hatsu, Fukumori, Unikai and Yanagi. In central midfield, we have Takamin and Arano. Left hand side, we have Danzaki, Kishimoto on the right and Kawasaki in the middle. Nakagawa, of course, up front. A bench consisting of Owaka, Yoshi the Hero, Kim Mintai, Miyazawa, Yoshi Kawa, Songkra Zin and Ogashiwa. Now, these changes are for several reasons. As you'll see, there's quite a few people whose condition is a bit on the low side. I'm trying to maintain them for future games. And we also have a little bit of an issue in terms of the international duty, meaning these two are also missing. So, 
that is our team for today's game if we are going to lose one it's probably going to be this one we've got the b team out but i believe in the b team do you believe in the b team because i definitely do these youngsters are definitely going to be amazing in our league some of them are even touted from teams right now for their club so yeah i think we can do it i think we'll be all right oita trinita is going to put up a fight in this one like i said at home they put up a fight so definitely at their place they're going to put up a fight and i think this is going to be a difficult one but i think we can win this one so come on lads show me what you can do to keep our run going dan zaki is liking that one he has been solid so far this season and in a weird turn of events Ko konai yeah konai is our top goal scorer at the moment four goals from right back not too shabby considering the two amazing strikers we've got and some of the midfielders we've got i'm surprised at that but he's been putting away those penalties and now nakagawa's got a ball oh nakagawa you had such a great opportunity and you wasted it kick straight at the goalkeeper and instead we have a corner can fukumori do anything with this whips it in far post near post even nodded away nishimoto will collect it pulls it back for inukai inukai to Arano, back to inukai once more and then the highlight is dead <sighs> right let's just have a little pause here if we can pick up a victory here today that'll put us on nine points it'll put them on zero points and they will have five games remain okay so we can't really cement anything right now gotcha but it'll definitely put us in a very good position because Right now, we do have a nice little gap on Osaka, which is nice to see. Hatsu, though, is going to come at them. Takamin, Hatsu, 1-2 between them two. Arano now gets it to Danzaki, tries to get it up to Nakawa. It is intercepted, though. They are coming straight back us with Bustos. Bustos fall over the top. Oh, my goodness, lads. You can't let them root one it like that. And they have got a goal. Thankfully, disallowed, though. So... Can't be letting them root one it over the top of us. There's one thing we've got to watch out for. Thankfully, we don't have to switch things up, but we do need to keep an eye on that for the rest of the game. Arano plays it over to Yanagi, gets it to Nakagawa. Nakagawa holds up the ball. Nishimoto. Oh, Nishimoto! What a beautiful effort. Smashes it from range into the bottom left corner. And Nishimoto has his first goal of the season. Very lovely one to get just before half time here in a nil nil game. He has made the decisive goal so far, and what a beautiful goal it was. Ted smashed it on his right foot into the left hand side. Goalkeeper, absolutely no chance. And we look to be going in half time in the lead. And we are. So. Four shots to their one, three on target to their one, a 0.31 XG, which is very disappointing to their 0.12. Three corners to one, four fouls to two, zero yellow cards apiece, 83% passing to 71, 65% position to 35. They, of course, had a goal disallowed on the 28th minute, and then Kishimoto gets the only goal so far in the 37th. So, I'm pleased with how things are going, keep it going. Dan Zaki needs to pick it up with his 6.5. Anyone else? Hatsu, I guess, with his 6.6, .6, and Yanagi with his 6.5, those three. So both our wing backs and our left attacking mid all need to pick things up a little bit. But as long as they don't exploit our wings, we shall be happy with that. Hiroshima currently drawing 1 1 against S Hawks in the only other game at the moment. That, of course, is in the other group. Nakagawa, though, lovely interception as the ball was attempted to be thrown into Bustos. Will he pull it back for Yanagi? No, he whips it in himself. Nishimoto. Kishimoto, even. Very close from Kishimoto. Very close indeed. Also, the Antlers have only played one game in their group. That's very interesting. Very. Interesting indeed. And yet they find themselves, I believe it was second in the group. Kawasaki though tries to shoot. It is blocked and Kobashi is coming on the counter attack down this right hand side. Will Hatsu getting a tackle or will tack him in? No, the ball is played over the top to Minami. And thankfully that was not taken advantage of. Hatsu though, you are worrying me far too much. So I am going to take you off. Although I would also like to rest Inukai. Hmm. This is interesting. Yanagi's picked it up. He's on the 6.8, so Yanagi can stay on. 
I guess Yoshi can go out there. Kim Min Tai can come in there. Takamin. Do I really care if Takamin gets sent off? I mean, it wouldn't be good. But I think we could deal with it. You know what? Yoshi, get out on that wing. We want Yoshi. We want double Yoshi. How can you compete with double Yoshi? It's not double Mario. It's not double Luigi. But double Yoshi. That is an unstoppable force. And we've got it on our left hand side now. Let's see what our dual Yoshis can do. Perhaps a little bit of Goomba stomping. But right now we have no highlights. 10 minutes remain in this one, plus any additional time, probably about 3 minutes of additional in this one, I'm guessing. We have not found out quite yet, because they have a highlight over on this right hand side. Whipped in, Obi will collect, nice easy collection there. How will this highlight go? I can't see that just being the highlight. So, Obi-Wan Kenobi, what are you going to do? Well, he hoofs it over to this left-hand side. Yoshikawa has got the ball. He's got Yoshi the hero behind him if he wishes to use him. Whips it in. It's push, punched away. Arano will collect it. Plays it to Takamin. Arano. Takamin once more. Arano holding the ball very nicely. Played over to the right-hand side where he finds Janagi. Lovely through ball. Kishimoto. Can he get a second? No, he's trying to ball across. Unfortunately, no one gets onto it. Yoshi gets it back to Yoshi the hero. Oh! Kawasaki. Kawasaki, my friend. So close, and yet so far. And it was three additional minutes in this one. So, not the easiest of games. They put up a fight. We had a lot of youngsters, a lot of backup players, but they did us proud. Apart from Danzaki and Hatsu, but we'll pretend their performances didn't happen. And Yoshi Kawa, he got 6.6, .6, but. And Kawasaki. Kawasaki, you disappointed us, but Yoshi Kawa. I can't really say too much because he wasn't on that long so he could have picked things up if he was playing for a longer duration 10 shots to their six in the end though five on target to their three and 0 0.86 to a 0 0.79 four corners to three 10 fouls to 13 two yellow cards zero yellow cards 85 percent passing to 74 63 percent possession to 37 but let's head to the dressing room tell the lads that was a solid little win we've managed to rest a lot of our big names for the next game which is nice to see but the real question is where are we going next episode because as you can see we verse Oita Trinita quite a little bit in the upcoming fixtures so I don't think I'm going to show you Oita Trinita in back-to-back -back games Fukuoka I think we'll jump over that one I don't see that being too much of a tricky tie so we're going to jump over these three and then we shall come back for Cerezo Osaka the team we of course beat in the opening highlights we managed to beat them in the Levain Cup but can we do it in the league the league of course is going to be a bit more decisive because we was chasing them last time in fact let's have a little look how far behind we was last time out they are chasing us right now three points nice little seven goal difference by the way that's nice to see but last time out we was behind them by five points so and quite a bit of goal difference as well so call it six points basically six points basically two wins behind last time so this this is a big one it's going to be a big one but i thank you all for joining us i hope you all have a lovely night and goodbye